Deji's dog is in the wrong. And here's why. Get all the latest drama stories in one place. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next story. Hello everyone and welcome back to Delving Into Drama, the show we look at drama situations going on in and around the YouTube community and giving you the stories as they come. Now I'm sure you've heard in the past few weeks about a big story concerning Deji Olatinji and his dog. There was an incident back in July 2018 where Deji's dog, Tank, attacked his neighbour while she was leaving from collecting a parcel at their home. Many people have wondered why their neighbour was at their place and the reason for that is that some couriers, if you're not there to receive a package, will actually deliver it to your neighbours. So she was there to collect the parcel from their home that had been delivered to her neighbours. Deji's mother opened up the door for her, she came to collect the package, probably came in to chat for a little bit and then was heading out. And while she was waiting for the gate to be opened on her way out, Deji's dog storms the woman and the dog bites her two times on her leg and then she suffers quite severe injuries that actually became infected. Many people have taken the side of Deji and his dog in this whole scenario. But after reviewing the footage and some vlog footage of Deji's dog, I've come to the conclusion that Deji is actually the one in the wrong here. Don't get me wrong, I do not want to see this dog get put down. That is not an acceptable punishment here at all. The dog should not be put down. However, I do think that the dog should be put into intensive training because there is significant evidence to support the fact that this dog has not been properly trained. For those that don't know, German Shepherds are actually quite stubborn dogs and they require a lot of training in order for them to reach their full potential. They are, however, very, very intelligent. And most people with German Shepherds know this when they purchase a dog. This is the trade-off you make. Harder to train, but the payoff is much greater. They're also extremely loyal and they're great family pets if they're trained properly. But if they're not, they can be quite aggressive and territorial. I don't know about you, but after watching the security camera footage, this seems to me like a dog that has not been trained properly. Deji spent £20,000 on this dog. It's a fifth generation pedigree. There's nothing wrong with the dog. I just think he hasn't taken the time to properly train it. My theory is that he just handed off the dog to his parents and the parents just really didn't take care of the dog at all. You know, people have said, oh, the woman should have just stood there with their arms by her sides, let the dog sniff her. I'm sorry, but if you're not a dog person especially, that is not your initial reaction. Your initial reaction is when you see this big dog, this big German Shepherd coming at you, you don't know what that dog's intentions are. And this lady was obviously being defensive in this particular instance. If you watch back the security footage, the lady doesn't actually hit the dog at all. She misses the dog. Obviously, we can't read the dog's mind. We don't know what the dog's intentions were prior to this, but the very fact that the dog even bit this lady at all, even after maybe this lady became a bit defensive, this dog should not be badly biting people twice if they feel a little bit threatened. That's the mark of a dog who has not been properly trained. And despite all of Deji's pleading on social media, rallying up support, he ended up pleading guilty for possession of a dog that was dangerously out of control. If Deji was truly innocent, he would have stayed by that till the very end. And the fact that he pleaded guilty to this did not help his case at all. Pleading guilty to owning a dog that's dangerously out of control will result in actions being taken against your dog. He said that he pleaded guilty just because he wanted Tank back. He wanted all of this over and done with. But Deji and his family? They're, they're loaded. They've got all the money in the world to fight this to the very end. Hire a good lawyer and get Tank out of this. If Tank was really innocent. If Deji was really innocent. But the fact that he pled guilty to this does not bode well in his case. It's a clear disconnect from what he's telling his fans and what he played in court. In the judge's comments, he said, It is clear from CCTV that operating in the area from your premises, that the dog was completely out of control and you, Ola Tinka, were totally unable to exercise any control over him. That's referring to the end of the CCTV footage which we have when Deji's mother was unable to call Tank back into her. To be honest, it just doesn't seem like Tank respects this family at all. Independent assessments of the dog also said that Tank didn't come across as a friendly, sociable dog. Candy Dessar said that she did not feel comfortable to take the dog off a lead. And she said while most dogs accept a muzzle, she found that Tank was very frightened with the attempts to muzzle him. This just supports my theory that this dog was not properly trained by Deji and his family. This dog was 13 months old at the time, that's quite old, and the dog should know how to come in at that particular time, especially considering the Tank is a German Shepherd. German Shepherds are incredibly intelligent. Apparently they're able to replicate a command after just five repetitions, and they respond after the first command 95% of the time. That's an incredible success rate and it's the reason that police use these dogs all the time. We have obtained clips from Deji's own videos that Deji's dog was not incredibly well behaved in the past. You okay, boy? Sit. Sit. No? Sit. Hey, you did it! You see that? Tank. 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 
Tank! Oh my gosh, tank! Are you safe? Tank! Stop! 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 Oh my tank! Stop it! Stop it! Stop! Stop! Tank! Ah! Ow! Alright, look, tank, tank, there you go. You can have this. Go on, save! All of this, to me, looks like Deji's dog has not been properly trained. Again, I do not think that Tank should be put down. That that is a complete overreaction for this incident. But I do think that Tank should be put into intensive training. Deji should take responsibility for his actions. He's had a completely different image online on his YouTube channel than he has in court, and that doesn't bode well in his case. If he truly believed that he was innocent and that this dog was not out of control, he would not have pled guilty to these charges. He has the money, he can hire a good lawyer, he could fight this and win if he wasn't guilty of these charges. We'll have to see what the police force does in response to this. Again, putting down the dog is a complete overreaction to this. That's not the way to go about this. But after analysing everything, I really do think that Deji needs to take responsibility because he clearly has some guilt in this whole situation that he's not admitting to his fans. Anyway guys, that was the story. If you liked the show, give it a like. If you hated everything about it, well, the dislike works too. You can join our Discord server where we're breaking the news all the time at discord.io slash pescator. And I'll see you for the next story. Bye-bye.